Hello, my 3D printer peeps. I'm here with the FlashForge AD5X. And today we are going to change or replace the nozzle. That is, replace the nozzle with a new nozzle or change the size of the nozzle to a different size. It's very easy to do. You can totally handle it. And we are going to do it together right now. The first thing you need to do Remove the tool head cover. The 5X has a fantastic tool head cover. You simply grab it and pop it off. Connected by magnets, powered by these simple little pins, and slides over two nubs right here. Here's another look from the top. The tool head simply slides over these two pins and magnets in place. To remove it, you simply pull it out and lift it off. With the tool head off, it's time to remove the nozzle. The nozzle has a silicon boot. Carefully work the silicon boot off, starting from the back. Peel it forward. The nozzle's clip. Simply grab this clip and move it aside. With that clip open, you may also open the heat sink. It is simply magnet in place. You will now see the AD5X nozzle. Pinch the nozzle and remove it. To install the new nozzle, simply slip it into place and be sure this tube lines up with the extruder's output hole. Let's take another look at this. Open the latch, open the heat sink, remove the nozzle. The nozzle is imprinted on the flat inner side. The flat inner side faces the tool head. The rounded side faces you. Being sure it slips into the extruder hole right here. Yes, it's okay if there's a small bit of filament sticking out. Close the heat sink and close the clip. You may find the clip is hard to simply push in place. If that's the case, a little back pressure on it when you place it in will help snap that over the lock. With the nozzle installed, replace the silicon boot starting in the front and wrapping it around the nozzle. You may need to coax it a little bit, especially here on the side. It's silicon, just work it in there till it hugs that nozzle firmly. With everything in place, Slip the tool head cover and you're good to go. If you've installed a different size nozzle, go to your screen, touch the eye icon, look for nozzle model, touch that and choose the nozzle size you've installed. I've installed a 0.4, so I will leave it there. And that's all there is to it. The AD5X now has a shiny new nozzle. If you changed nozzle sizes, don't forget to pop into your slicer and change the profile to match that nozzle size. I'm Mr. Greg, we just changed the 5X nozzle, and you're on 3D Rundown.